Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this let's play of Pillars of Eternity. Last episode, we managed to defeat the army of the Eyeless. They are handled, they are gone, and we no longer have to worry about them. Every, The North is saved, as is the Deerwood, and everything here. Now we need to calm down, get all our loot sold, rest up, and... Level up! We got some level ups, which is very nice. Start with you. I think we'll go with, uh, lore. Probably good to have at least ten lore, just in case other things will require it. Um, hmm. What trait should I actually get for you? Hmm. Superior deflection is actually simple enough. I, mm, no, I don't need arms bearer. Well, I have the hammer. I don't need it for anything anymore. Well... I mean, I can take one of these. Sure, what the hell, we'll take Heart of the Storm for the sake of it. There, we can do a little shock damage, I guess. Maybe. I don't know if it works, but we'll see. Okay, Durance, my boy! You're saving up for more mechanics. Without a doubt. Uh, let's see, Interdiction. We've got Inspired Flame. No, that doesn't matter. Aggrandizing Radiance? No. Inspiring Radiance. Any offensives that I want to give? Hmm. Actually, yeah, I should get these. Uh, field triage is actually a wise idea. Why didn't I get you this before? It only makes sense for the healer to have that. And Sagani. Time for you. Um, I guess a point in stealth makes sense and a point in athletics. Why not? Actually, no. Let's get you to survival 13 for the sake of it. Uh, as for this, I don't think there's really anything to sp well, field triage. I need to get that on everyone. Okay, everything is handled here. Now, even though we've completed everything here, let's head back to... How about we start by going to the foundry, seeing if there's anything there we can pick up or do or anything like that. Let them know about what happened, I guess. If there's anything we have to tell them about. Honestly, I don't think there really is. I don't think there's even really much to do at the foundry. This no relative leaves a stronghold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never really cared about them anyway. Yeah, I think it was just some workers here. It didn't really matter who was here. And we can't refine any more Durgan iron. So yeah, this is, uh, this is basically done. So we'll head back to, uh, Stalwart then. Make our way back to Stalwart, get out of here, and, uh... I don't think there... Now that I think about it, there isn't really anyone we need to talk to in Stalwart, is there? We completed everything, and we don't have anyone to report into to say, Hey, so we completed the mission. Now that I think about it. Huh. Why didn't I realize that before? Hmm. Oh well. I guess this episode will be spending, uh... Getting things all set up and settled as we prepare to move out again. 
Although I might make another attempt at that bounty that I tried to get down in the deer wood. It doesn't seem like the worst idea. What did you say? N nothing. That's what I like about you. Beg your pardon? You don't talk much. Hmm. Alright, on to Stalwart. Alright, this way, into Stalwart. Hireling Payday, huzzah! Nothing else special you about know, this. Durance, just because you follow the Goddess of Fire doesn't mean you need to literally consume everything you come across. The fire is a favor I grant to those I meet. It makes them stronger, or it ends them mercifully if not. The remaining unemptied beer steins of the Deerwood quake in fear. <laughs> oh, that amuses me. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's really any quests for me to turn in now. Just the bounty, really. Yeah, we'll head there soon. Okay, uh, but yeah, I don't think there's any, anyone we have to report in the, to, in on to, in the, anyone to report in t on, words, <laughs> no one to report into here, that's what I meant, but I think we can sell a few things, like these traps which aren't valuable to me. All of these items. All of these items. All of these helms. I mean, we still have these, which... Yeah, they might have uses for someone. I don't know. Uh, Elder Wolf Fang, Wolf Hide, Stelgar Fang, Bear Claws. And we get more coin! We have... Almost 230,000 coin. Yeah, we have a lot of gear. Okay. So, let's head back and down to Cadnua. Alright, let's see here. Gelade, well done. A formidable fortress in the old style. We don't build them like this anymore, you know. Not by the sea. Too vulnerable to cannons. Yeah, and yet it feels like it would be a good idea to have a fortress or the like. It feels right. Alright, we should have some gear and stuff that we can pick up over here. In this chest, we've got, let's see... Malina's boots with speed and preservation, meh. Morning gloves, which are actually, if I remember, from what I remember, fairly good. Marked amulet, martyr on unconscious and constitution. What does martyr do? Anyone around attacks faster. Hmm. And rhyme cutter, which is a unique battle axe which does freeze damage and attacks faster and does more crit damage. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, this one basically. Extra defense for 20 seconds, extra attack speed on 20 seconds, for 20 seconds, extra concentration and interrupt for 20 seconds, one lower resolve for 20 seconds, and extra endurance. It doesn't say for how long. It just says extra endurance. And, uh, Ifen's Cradle. Beneficial suspects suspended for 20 seconds. Not the most important, but okay, that is a thing. Man, we had a lot. Oh, what is this? Amaya's Codex. Grants... These various items. These various abilities. Once each. Why would I ever use that? Also, I just realized I forgot to actually... 
change it because they're all going into here. All of them are. There we go. Okay, you've got dexterity plus four. That's might plus two. Intellect plus three. Perception plus three. Resolve plus four. Con plus four. Yeah, you've got some good stuff there, I will say. So I need to figure out who's getting various things. You actually... Do you have a dexterity bonus from anything else? You do not, but you do not need these boots. So I'll give you this dexterity ring. There, you get a dexterity bonus. Uh, you don't have a second ring. Uh, I don't think you've got a resolve bonus from anything. Well, you've got a tiny resolve bonus from the bracers. Eh, it's not that important. Actually... No, that that is... Well... Coil of resourcefulness doesn't actually matter, so you know what? I take it back. You will get this, and you will not have the coil of resourcefulness. It's not needed for you. You can have the Ring of Changing Heart. Oh, damn it. Okay, is there any other gear that I want to swap out at the moment? Okay, that's a regular sword, but I've already got a good sword, which, uh... Yeah, I need to kill enemies with the weapon in order to actually improve it, and that's going to, uh, take some time, I believe. Although at least we have the Dragon's Maw Shield completely upgraded, which is nice. I wonder if that Fear Aura will help against those things. Anyway, um... You... <sighs> I don't know if we're ever going to get that final upgrade for St. Edwin's Redeemer, because they're never going to go down! Or rarely will you ever go down. Uh, You've got a unique spear, which is actually one-handed, interestingly enough. That lowers your ac- Yeah, we should let you keep the accuracy. It's fine. You've got that wand. I haven't been letting you use your stick. Can I improve this at all? Yeah, I can. And should. What is that? And That's an Audra Dragon Scale. Wow. <clears throat> um, yeah, I should give you at least exceptional. In fact, anyone who can get an upgrade like this should get exceptional, because we can afford it for everyone. Now that we actually have the gear that we can do so, we really should. In fact, uh, what does that provide at the moment? Pierce is high... Burn and freeze. Yeah, I should give you a different upgrade. This episode is going to be a lot of upgrading and improving. Oh, it's damage reduction is what it is. Uh... Yeah, how about some crush reduction? There you go. You're fine. You... Yeah, you're going to exceptional. And I can get you a proofing. Um... Since you stay at range, I guess slash proof kind of makes sense just in case someone gets close. You're already superb, so you're fine there. And it's a unique item. I'll give you Pierce Proofed. 
I don't think I have anything here that I want to upgrade. Well, okay, that's a necklace for Concentration Resolve and Consecrated Ground, but... Hmm. Intellect and Resolve or Constitution? You've already got Intellect. It's Resolve you don't ha have another of. Which isn't the most important, I don't think. Then again, if you go down, it <coughs> doesn't matter as much. This, however, I think would work. Better than the girdle, I think. I think clarity might not be a bad idea for you. And I'll give you the decreased critical hit damage. You need some kind of boots. Uh, speed and preservation? Sure, why not? You've got sturdy. Is sturdy really important? I'll give you this one. I do wonder who I should give these, uh, these unique gloves to, if anyone. Well, let me check, uh, the rest of the team. How about that? Right then. Time to swap out the team members and take Boris, a look at everyone else. Farewell. You can nope, trust wait, no. me. And you. Do we have level ups for anyone? We might. We have a level up for the grieving mother. Um, sure, survival. And I guess you'll get Borrowed Instinct, sure. And sure, Brutal Backlash. I haven't really experimented with the Cypher. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, you... You are actually already exceptional, which is good, and you're proofed, so you're fine th with that. Uh... You, we can't do that until we kill the Alpine Dragon. You... can get an exceptional for that. And I suppose I should proof it a little. Now that I think about it, we do have this axe, which is... Hmm. Is it better than this? Honestly, I think we're fine without switching to that. You have the Gray Sleeper, which is very good. You have this crossbow, which slowly needs to be improved. In time, it will be, I'm sure. You've got a unique spear, which is fine. And you've got your weapons, which are perfectly fine. You've also got your flail. We don't have a better one. Armor-wise... You've got Herbalist Protective Skin. Actually... It's a little better. Well... Hmm... I take it back. It's only the base de damage resistance that's better. We're fine without it. You have the best of that. You've got that, and you've got your thing. 
Uh, what about this kind of gear? Kana? Does that actually matter? Uh, we've got overseeing, that's important. Gon's Pledge, I guess you can have. Mind Lance and Con. Resolve and Con. Con. Uh. I mean, I can give you this one, I guess. We've currently got Deflection and Ring of Protection. <laughs> that just feels proper in a way. Uh, I guess Constitution bonus. Yeah, that's fine for you. Uh, what is that? Binding and Constitution. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess Sturdy will work for you. We don't have any headpieces. You don't have any rings. Why don't you have any rings? I'll give you that it's... I'll give you... That doesn't actually provide a bonus because something else is providing deflection bonus. The bracers. Okay, remove the bracers. Put on the ring. We'll give you something else. If you have anything giving you might, yes, you do. So ignore that one. You can have the morning gloves. Why not? That, that would be fun. And I'll give you this ring so you have the ring. You don't have a second ring. That's actually kind of surprising. We don't really have many rings. I guess I'll give you this so you have it. That's quickness, which actually I think is a good thing to have. Healing bonus is med. Don't we have a con bonus one? That's dexterity. I guess I gave the uh, the con bonus girdle to someone. Okay. We'll let that pass. Okay, I think there's one other person we have on our team. See you when ah, I yes, see you. the monk. You haven't leveled up yet. You've currently got Wayfarer's Hide, which is better than the robes of the Tidebringer, which would also leave you without a shirt. We'll not improve that. And I think for the most part, the rest of your stuff is perfectly fine. Yeah, I'd say you're fine. Okay, uh, I am going to try something. First things first. Change out Very the team. Well. Okay, you are coming. We'll try taking you, and we're taking you. Who are the other two going to be? About Palagina and... No, not the Devil of Karak. Maneha. I'm going to make a run to try and take care of that bounty again. Uh huh. Also, I of course need to turn on everyone's AI because for some reason it always turns off when I swap people out. I still don't know why. It is incredibly stupid. Actually, you know what? I take it back. We are not going to take, uh... Sigani on this. Farewell. We're gonna take Double Mage. Alright. Let's get a rest in, because we're gonna need it. Um... May as well go with Might. You feel a presence hovering nearby. When you turn, you see the grieving mother observing you. Concern crinkles the corners of her eyes and seeps into your mind. 
You wear a call of your own, Watcher. I see you shrouded by old lives and unanswered questions. Can you see any details of my past lives? She closes her eyes and you feel her energy directed inwards at you. She searches your mind, your memories, and parts of you that feel numb and still. She is as gentle as a mother with a newborn. Finally, she retreats. I am sorry. Whatever secrets your soul hides are not present in your mind. Yes, I've felt them more and more of late. This is why we journey together. That one may draw strength from many, and that much may be mended by the purpose of one. As she peers at you, her brow seems cre creased with a new kind of anxiety. Your obscure past, does it trouble you? No. Whatever I've done, my decisions now matter more. I admire your clarity, Watcher, and I hope I may help prepare you for the decisions ahead. She retreats from you, fading into the background. If you did not already know she was there, you suspect you wouldn't notice her at all. Will do. All right, then. Come on, guys. We are going to see if we can take care of this particular <sighs> bounty. This is not going to be easy. We had trouble with it before. But I still want to try... Well, <sighs> with the time that's I passed... I must say, I'm impressed. Then again, for the time that's passed, we only have three minutes. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we'll try for the bounty, and we'll also make attempts at that ice dragging it again. We'll probably change the team we have for that a little bit, but we'll see what we can do. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44. I'll send in as for thy. That is Laniara, Palagina, Maneha, Dorance, the Grieving Mother, and Aloth. This has been a Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity, and I shall see you all next time.